What's going on, everybody? James Paul Shepard for Feldcore Digital, and today we're doing the Ant Man Shrink Effect Adventure Resort 17. Let's get into it. All right, now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, what you want to do is you want to find your clean plate. So when you're filming this, you want to make sure that you shoot the clean plate without your actor in it for this to work. So keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through, get our clean plate right here. That should be long enough. I on the keyboard for an end point, O for an out point. So we're just going to drag that down. Now we're going to go back into the same footage and we're going to find where we want it to start. We're going to start about right there, I for an endpoint, and we're going to go to where it's a little past where we shrink. About right there. So O, and let's drag that in. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to get to the point where you're about ready to pretend you're shrinking. Mine's about right there. And with the clip selected, you want to go over to your inspector. You want to go down to your speed change. If it's not open, just go ahead and click it. And you want to hit the snowflake. What that does is that's going to freeze the frame, all everything from the right of your uh, marker. So... With that selected, what you want to do is you want to head over to the color page. Now, I like to do the masking in the color page. You can also do the masking in Fusion. So in here, you want to make sure you have your mask selected. Select the pen tool. And then we're just going to zoom in here. And we're going to mask around it. Now, the mask doesn't have to be perfect. But the closer that you get to it and the more time you spend on it, the better it will look. But it is only going to be four frames anyway, so you won't really notice. But I am going to fast forward through this, so you do not have to sit here and watch me mask this out. I want to take this time to give a shout out to the Filmcore Digital Patreon members. Those members are Carl Robbins, Little Thrusty, Paul Hackworth, Bobby Saravanera, Danny Gowan, Vicki Ingram, and Leslie Murphy. Thank you so much for all your support. And if you want to be a Patreon member, click the link in the description below. We have three tiers to choose from, so go check those out. Now let's get back to the tutorial. All right, now that we have that masked out, if you notice that your background's not gray like mine, you can select this magic wand tool, and it will remove the background. So now what you want to do is you want to go over and right click and add an alpha output and drag the blue to the blue. Now that that's masked out you want to go back to your edit page and that's what, that's what we have. We're going to put the background back behind it. So you're going to click on that. You're going to right click and you're going to go new compound clip. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Now that we have a new compound clip, you're going to select it and we're going to head over to the Fusion tab. Now inside the Fusion tab, what you want to do is you want to make sure your media is selected, shift space, and you want to type in transform or XF for short, hit enter, and that will put it in there. If you didn't have your media selected and you just brought in your transform and it's all wobbly everywhere, it's all loosey-goosey. What you want to do is you want to grab it, hold shift, bring it down to the line until it turns blue and yellow, and you let go. And that will connect them back up. So with the transform selected, first thing you want to do is you want to come over here to your pivot Y axis, and you want to drop it all the way out of frame. Now the Y axis is going to be where your shrinking wherever your effect is going to go to. So if I drop it there, it's gonna go there. So your pivot point's gonna be based on wherever you are putting your uh, shrinking down to. So if you're shrinking down to the concrete still, you would leave it up there on the concrete. 
but for this one we're going to drop it out of frame so with that down you want to make sure that you are on the first frame of your footage you're going to come over and hit a keyframe there you're going to tab over four frames and then you're going to come over and lower your size until you're out of the frame so now we have this right here all right, with that still selected, with the transform still selected, you want to go over to your transform settings, and we're going to add a motion blur. So make sure you're back on the first frame of the footage, and we're going to hit a keyframe, and you're going to go over one frame, and then we're going to turn on motion blur. Now the settings that I found that work best for the ghost effect is one on quality and 360 on the shutter angle. So that's going to give you a nice little ghost effect shrinking down so now that we have that we want to go back to the edit tab and then you want to duplicate this footage by holding alt and click and drag up so you want to start here you want to go over one keyframe and then you want to move your footage over to that keyframe so it kind of it's kind of following after so it's offset a little bit so now with that top one selected you want to come over to your open effects and you want to search edge detect so you want to grab that you want to put it on your footage now first with that select you want to come over to your inspector and you want to drop the composite mode down to screen so now that that's selected you want to select effects you want to drop your mode to grayscale and then these dials you can play with on your footage um, what I found best is you increase the brightness, bring the denoise up a little bit to, to notice it a little more, and then go back over to your video tab and drop the opacity down to about, drop it down to about 25. Keyframe that, move over one frame, and then bring that back up to 50. So that will give you the little effect there. Now what you want to do is you want to take your bottom footage and you want to come over to your speed change and you want to lower that down to about 75. And then your, you know what, let's go 70. Let's go 70. So drop that one to 70 and then drop the top one to 65. So you notice that now we have the the edge detect one frame too early. So then you just want to go over one more frame and then drag your footage over to that. So now you have a little motion trail. So now let's run that through. All right. So now with that, you want to grab your audio. The audio will be available in the description for download. We'll just line that up. And there we go. That's how you do the Ant-Man shrink effect.